It says here that you ruined a client's kitchen by using ill-advised kitchen trends. Yes, that's correct, but listen, I swear, okay, I did not mean to sabotage their kitchen. I thought that by using these trends, I'd make their kitchen more trendy, not less. Before we decide on suspending your kitchen design license, why don't you start at the beginning and tell us how this all started. The client reached out to me, they're looking for help in designing a kitchen. They wanted it to be trendy. So I went online and I started looking up kitchen trends. I came across this really great article, but turns out I read the title wrong. What I thought it read was, these are hot kitchen trends. What it really said was, these are not kitchen trends. Can you tell us more about why you went with a chimney style range hood? <laughs> yeah, my bad there. Um, these things are a dime a dozen. And I just thought that's just what you put in a kitchen. We use them so often, they're just so easy to slap in there and put cabinets around and you're done, but I think what a chimney style vent hood does is automatically date your kitchen. Really what the range needed was this beautiful wow factor, something that really stood out as a real centerpiece in the kitchen instead of this run of the mill range hood. What's this about paneled appliances? Oh, wow, yeah. Um, I mean, I realize, listen, in Europe, this is a pretty popular idea. And in North America, sure, it's popular, but do you know how much these appliances cost? Panel-ready appliances are not cheap. Plus, you need to buy panels, which are not cheap, to go on these panel-ready appliances. It's just a massive budget suck. Now, sure, in a high-end kitchen, by all means, go ahead and panel everything. But for a lot of us, it's money not really well spent. I think, too, having everything paneled can look a little bland. I'm a North American. I don't mind seeing my dishwasher. I really don't. I get it that other places like to have it paneled, but I just don't see it as being a huge deal breaker in a kitchen. Was it difficult to convince the client to use open shelving? <laughs> Surprisingly not. I mean, once I told them about open shelving, they were gun ho We put it everywhere. Open shelves, every nook and cranny, every wall space we could put them on. It turned out to be a disaster. There's a lot of dust, there's grease, plus you gotta keep the thing looking like someone actually cares about the joint. Don't get me wrong, if done properly, open shelves can be a really great benefit to a kitchen. They can add some personality, some character, you can display certain things that you want to display. Just don't go overboard with the open shelving like I did in this kitchen. It says here that you told them sconces were a good idea? Yeah, I thought I was right on track with these. I've seen a lot of designers talking about sconces. I just did not realize that they were just more or less glorified dust collectors. Plus, the client has to install extra electrical boxes in their walls, and that's not a small task. It costs a lot of money, and I didn't realize that it was going to dip into the budget in such a way that it did. But I think this is more or less just a fad, and I really should have put a little more thought into whether or not they really needed sconces or not. This trend is going to be gone before we know it and the client's going to have these fancy lights stuck on their wall that they're not going to want anymore and they're tired of cleaning. I really should have told them if they're going to spend that money, invest in a bigger window or a skylight or put more track lighting in underneath your cabinets or something. I just don't think this was the way to go. We were surprised to see a kitchen triangle. Everybody hates on the kitchen triangle. Listen, function is the key to a successful kitchen design, hands down. And the kitchen triangle is really the grandparent of modern kitchen layouts. It, it really is. We can't just throw it in the garbage and say it's not useful. But I will admit there's probably better ways to lay out a kitchen, better workflows than just to stick with the classic kitchen triangle the way we've always done it. And that's what I did in this kitchen. I just stuck by the guidelines and I didn't go beyond that. Instead of really talking with the client and seeing what are the things that are important, how do they use the kitchen, how are they gonna be working in that space, and then make those workflows fit the way the client's gonna use the space. Instead of just plopping a kitchen triangle, I should have better assessed what the client actually needed. Hardware choice is a big decision. Why would you decide on matte black? Yeah, matte black. Listen, I didn't realize that this was gonna be outdated so fast. Matte black hardware seemed to be all the rage and uh, yeah, I just went with it. Didn't realize that it kind of showed a lot of fingerprints and grease and all that kind of stuff. And it just, uh, I don't know, it just kind of dates the kitchen like right off the bat, similar to that range hood deal. To make matters even worse, we went with super long handles, which I don't know, I should have known better. So they're so big, they're matte black, it just takes away from the look of the kitchen. It, it just was too much on the eyeballs. The client mentioned that the kitchen is in a separate room. Can you give us some detail on that? Yeah, 
Do you remember this little thing called the pandemic? We were stuck in our homes and everybody was on top of everybody in these open concept kitchens. And so we all thought that this is a perfect time to start closing off kitchens. And then kind of things went back to normal. Now everybody's on this bandwagon saying we're gonna close up the kitchen like it used to be back in the olden days. So I went for it, closed up the kitchen. Well, it turns out that it's actually not that popular. That people still actually do want open concept kitchens. That they're more popular than ever and that the pandemic didn't actually change the way we view that. I think maybe it's just popular opinion to have at the time, but I just don't buy the excuse that it's because you don't want to look at dirty dishes all the time. I'm just not buying that, I'm sorry. I think open concept is definitely the way kitchens are still going. I really shouldn't have put that wall up, but anyway. This kitchen is very clean. Where are all the small appliances? Well, nobody wants a cluttered kitchen, right? I mean, it just irks me that you see these kitchens that just have everything jammed everywhere and there's no place for everything. It's just an indication that there's not enough storage. And then because of that, there's not enough prep area. The whole function of the kitchen gets turned upside down. However, that doesn't mean that there can't be some things on your countertop, like the small appliances that you use every single day. And in this kitchen, I thought it'd be in the client's best interest if we just took everything they used and hid it away in a cabinet somewhere. And now they have to go finding everything and digging out their Vitamix every time they want to use it. And what happens is it just gets put back on the countertop anyways. So we wasted a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of resources in trying to find ways to hide all these things that really, they don't need to be hidden. It's okay that you have certain appliances on your countertop. It's okay that things are neatly organized on that space if that's how you use it. We don't have to have this super clean hospital grade kitchen like we see in pictures. Even if you look at pictures, they have it curated in such a way that it kind of looks normal. I mean, it's beautiful and probably not the way your kitchen looks with all your dirty dishes in the sink, but I just don't think we need to hide everything away. And that's where I went wrong with this kitchen. Talk us through your thought process of going with the waterfall edge. What is the problem with waterfall edges? You see them everywhere. That's sort of the definition of trendy. The fact that it's everywhere and everybody has it. Maybe that was the problem. And sometimes when those trends get oversaturated, I mean, they just start to spike down. That's really what's happening with waterfall edges. I didn't realize that that was a bad decision. Plus, it's another budget killer. It's very expensive to have these panels that don't serve any purpose. I see here it says all white kitchen. Can you elaborate? Yeah, the all white kitchen. Absolutely my favorite. No doubt about it, I love it. If you watch my channel, you know that I love white kitchens. However, it would have been better of me to advise the client to make decisions based on what they wanted, not on what I thought was popular. Because at the end of the day, it's their kitchen. I'm not ever gonna go there. I'm not gonna eat in their kitchen or use their kitchen. I don't have to look at it every day. So it doesn't really matter to me. It should matter to them that they're getting things in their kitchen that they really want. I told them to go with the white kitchen on the premise that it's always going to be popular and it's timeless. And while that might be true that it's timeless, that doesn't mean that it's the only choice out there. There are so many options. So don't be afraid to be bold and make decisions based on the things that you really like. Chances are you're not gonna get sick of them. So by playing it safe with the white kitchen, it's really not that big a deal. Do you have any final words before we make our decision? Yeah. If you haven't clicked off Enrage by now, thanks for sticking around. Listen, all of these trends are all subjective. You may love them, you may hate them. That's what trends are all about. So let me know your opinion in the comments below what trends you like, what you disagree on, and what I just said. And by the way, this is just for fun. So take it like that. If you want to find out how to design a really functional kitchen, check out this video. It's a lot more serious. And thank you for subscribing.